So I had the, the, the privilege to discuss three very interesting and important abstracts on this year ESMO uh, Congress. And in particular, I had the task to, to talk about the Abound Second Line trial, an update of Keynote 21G and the Checkmate 153. Well, Abound Second Line has been a randomized trial investigating a novel combination for second line treatment, NAP, Paclitaxel, and CC486, which is an epigenetic modifier. And then the investigators added a third cohort, which was the combination of NAP, Paclitaxel, and Duvalumab. Unfortunately, there was no improved efficacy seen with the combination of NAP, Paclitaxel, and CC486. And so far, we are not sure about the efficacy of NAP, Paclitaxel, and Duvalumab. Response rate is a little bit higher. So far, we do not see any improvement in progression-free survival, and we are still waiting for overall survival. The second one, Kino 21G, this has been an update investigating the combination of platinum-based chemotherapy plus or minus pembrolizumab as a first-line option. This is a very important question we are discussing. What is the role of chemotherapy plus immunotherapy as first-line treatment? This has been a phase two trial. So we have seen consistent signals in response and progression-free survival. The median progression-free survival now is a little bit longer, close to 19 months. The interesting part of this trial or of this update has been the observation that overall survival becomes more prolonged for those patients who receive the combination of chemotherapy and pembrolizumab. So now we really have a statistical value of P uh, a p-value of 0 0.003. However, we have to be honest, this is a phase two trial, so we are still waiting for the confirmatory phase three trial, the Keynote 189, which hopefully will read out very, very soon. And the last trial was Checkmate 153. This was an interesting topic. Originally, this was a safety trial looking on the frequency of immune-related adverse events in pretreated patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer who received nivolumab as second, third, or fourth line therapy. But the investigators had a very interesting exploratory um, investigation or an exploratory endpoint, which has been a randomized part after one year of treatment. So patients who received one year of treatment with nivolumab and who had a response were randomized in either to continuous nivolumab or they were stopped. And the question was, do we see any difference in efficacy for in those patients who continue the nivolumab? And indeed, there was an improvement in progression-free survival favoring those patients who received continuous nivolumab until progression of the disease. Furthermore, we also had an observation on op uh, overall survival. These are very preliminary data. However, there's a trend favoring those patients who received the continuous treatment with nivolumab. This is an exploratory investigation. We have to wait for the final overall survival analysis. However, this has been the first investigation which could prove that the, it is of clinical benef benefit to continue the treatment with nivolumab. However, we have to be cautious. As mentioned before, this is an exploratory analysis.